Hello everybody, so here is the answer to today's uh, quiz. So this is a 53 year old male with a single spherical lesion over the right pinna with a central keratotic plug since 5 months. The clinical DDs uh, given were keratoacanthoma, sebaceous cyst or chondrodermatitis nodular cirrhosis. Unfortunately I didn't have a clinical pick but the histology is pretty, pretty classical even on low power. So if you are just looking at the epidermis it can be a bit uh, confusing. There is definitely pseudo epitheliomatous hyperplasia, uh, more so in the in the second pic. And looking at this, you may think that this is a crateriform lesion, but this is actually uh, epidermal ulceration with trans epidermal elimination of this sort of amorphous pink material, which you can appreciate here uh, even on low power. Okay, this is quite uh, nicely seen in this image. Now these are um, these these amorphous pink blobs are often described as cotton candy and uh, if you look at higher power yes there is marked pseudoepithelomatous hyperplasia epidermal pallor which you may confuse with the keratoacanthoma um, and yes if you are seeing a superficial shave biopsy without the underlying uh, amorphous pink material that you are seeing here and the clinician um, says is it a KA? Then you may report this as a KA, uh, keratoacanthoma, if you are not seeing the underlying uh, pathology. But the underlying pathology is this. It is this amorphous pink material surrounded by a granulomatous infiltrate. Uh, it is not quite granulomatous yet, but it is a lymphohistocytic infiltrate. And the clue is this sort of needle shaped lacunae, uh, which is a clue to the crystalline structure of these uh, deposits. Okay, So these are urate crystals. Usually, urate is dissolved in formalin fixed sections and therefore you need alcohol fixed sections to see um, the urate deposits. But then, you know, this is a pretty, pretty classical histological H&E picture on formalin fixed sections and you don't often need any um, special stains or, or special fixation methods uh, if you know what you're looking for. And here is, uh, though it's not a common site, it's a second common site after HEAL. And uh, it's, it, it is not unusual to see gout uh, in the year, and I've, I've put up a reference uh, to this effect. Um, what what um, a, uh, you should sort of uh, rule out when you're seeing a shave, superficial shave biopsy. So never actually the the you know, reading the learning point is never report something on a superficial shave biopsy because uh, you don't know what is underneath it especially if you're just seeing pseudoepithelomatous hyperplasia, unless the clinical is pretty typical, don't report it as a uh, keratoacanthoma. Yes, uh, the epidermis uh, looks like it, but then you're not seeing, if you're, if you're just seeing a superficial shave, you're missing the underlying pathology. Now, um, some of you have called this chondrodermatitis nodularis. Yes, in chondrodermatitis as well, you'd expect to see um, epidermal ulceration. There may be super. Uh, uh, there may be uh, epidermal atrophy, but then you see cartilage here. Cartilage is the pink material. Um, it's not. It's not like this. I uh, should show you a picture of cartilage. Yeah, there you go. So this is um, this is from Twitter. Uh, I don't have a picture of chondrodermatitis nodularis because uh, it's extremely rare in the Indian setup. I don't have a case of myself. Um, gout is actually in fact also quite rare, um, but uh, you see it more often than chondrodermatitis nodularis. I think chondrodermatitis nodularis is a combination of um, elderly sort of sun exposed skin um, and uh, especially it's more common in Caucasians for some reason don't really see it in Asians either clinically or histologically. Uh, it's a very rare clinical presentation. Often what happens in chondrodermatitis because of chronic pressure on that area, there is epidermal atrophy. If the patient has been picking on it and has been scratching it, you may find pseudoepithelmatous hyperplasia, but often there is atrophy. And then this cartilage, which is the clue uh, on the ear, it tends to sort of perforate out to the, uh, often becomes degenerate. And cartilage, it looks quite different from uh, gouty crystals, which are sort of this, have this uh, needle shaped lacunae within them. So you should make that distinction. And often there is some fibrinoid necrosis at the top, 
because of chronic pressure and you may see some dilated vessels, small uh, regenerating capillaries because it's a place of chronic ischemia, uh, chondrodermatitis, you often see reactive vascular proliferation to some extent. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the quiz. This is a spotter. If you know it, you know it. And if you don't know it, you don't know it. But once you see it, you don't forget it. All right. Thank you very much.